Hello everyone, this is Gamer D or Digit D, and I just want to let you guys know this is part two to the fantastic game of uh, Castlevania Sympathy of the Night. It's right right back where it left off at. It's one of my favorite games. So this is part two. Starting now. It's gonna be about it's gonna be 30 minutes for this one for this video here. So Let's go get our stuff. The blood cloak is like one of the best cloaks of the game because if you get hit or whatever. Sorry for going in and out like that, but like you get hit by something, it replenishes your heart. So, and I get hit a lot, so I don't even have to worry about getting hearts anymore. So let's go get the form of the mess. Wait, we already got it, so we just flip the library card and get out of here. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. Alright, so I'm gonna sell like two gems. I'm interested in this. <laughs> thank <laughs> thank you. I'm interested in this. <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna buy the iron shield because it's like the best shield I <laughs> have besides there's like so many other ones that are really good, but early on this is like the best shield in the game for me. And like three library cards. <laughs> Thank you! Farewell for now. So, let's equip the dual combo. Wait, uh shield rod and iron shield. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Ah, so close. Alright, the reason why I did that is that with the form of the, uh, the wolf, you can actually be able to jump into higher spots with that if you run off staircases. And boo, yeah, and I got up to this area that I wanted to get to. So, that allows me to. That's right, I have. I got destroyed there. Would you look at that? My hearts are already back up to normal. After getting hit like twice. Now, with the mist, I have the soul of the bat. And the reason why I said let's equip, uh, let's buy three more library cards. Shield rod. And iron shield. Now, I right back. Right back at the beginning. Not at the beginning, but at the beginning of this place. Let's get some fun. Get the fairy. We got the 
fairy card. me to resist uh Medusa heads so I won't turn into stone Medusa heads suck I don't like them I have to uh, look at this guy because if you don't you, you, you won't unlock him you have to go all the way back all the way over here so you have to look at this that stroke, that telescope, just to unlock something. Ain't that something? Ain't it something? Alright, let's go. another save point. I know where mostly all the save points are, basically, so... Yeah, I know this game in and out. I beat this game more than at least 10 or 15 times. So, I finally want to do a let's play of it. Here it is. This is part two. I'm up to like 7 a.m., so I'm gonna be making a whole lot of videos.
right here. Star Flail, whatever its name is called. Yep, Star Flail. We got a helmet, so now I can actually equip a helmet. Steel Helm. And then I got this awesome shield called the Gold Blade. Uh, I'm not going to equip it just yet. I'm going to wait until I get out of this spot. There is something funny about this wall. can equip uh, the gold plate. I'm about to get the healing milk right here. That allows me to walk in place and I get health for it, which is actually really awesome. But this, it goes up by one and one only. There's this one shield that is really awesome that I like to see. It's like this exit shield he carries. It's like you walk with it out, and I think it's called the dark shield, and you gain health for every time you destroy something. Kick two, that's why I have the shield rod combo. It is awesome.
double jump, you guys. Anybody wants to know. You also get the power of the mist. Just in case, if there's another bird like that guy right up there, uh... consider that are really well. Uh, there's like, f I think my top five right now are the sword familiars, number one. It's ranked at number one. Then the second is the Miramasa Blade. It's two-handed. Then the third is the Chrismagram. Then number four is the Shield Rod, which is top number game, but allows me to beat the whole game really quick. And then the Fourth, the fifth and final one is the Jewel Sword. The Jewel Sword makes jewels every time you kill a monster. It's actually really awesome. Really, really awesome. Double jump. I got double jump. I got the four of the mist. That. So, right here, this is how you control sword. Fly through here with your bat, first, or whatever. And then you become the wolf, or whatever. I think it's the wolf or the bat, I don't know. It's either way. Just walk through this spot once or twice, and it should open up the lockdown. There's a door right down here. Yep, open it up.
I think before I end this video, I'm going to get the this power. All right, we got the holy mail, which is a little bit stronger than the actual gold plate, which is really nice. If you We need the clock so I can get the Alucard stuff. Alucard. Or whatever. So I'm gonna just run past these guys. Just like that. Summon a bat, which is really awesome.
be ending this this let's play part two real It shows how much energy, how much damage I do. Yay! video where where I like and subscribe to me like subscribe share this video or whatever and I wanted to say thanks you guys for watching again today so this is this is part two of the video series of of Castlevania Sympathy Night I totally forgot this almost forgot the name I made sure this was a 30 minute video so I'll see you guys in part three where I finish try to explore the castle a little bit further on this some more so I could be able to I'm gonna try to finish the whole castle once I finish that castle we'll be going through part two the second castle that'd be the upside down castle that'd be the hard stuff spoiler alert so I wanna say Thank you.